Indeed, we are really lucky that we've managed to find a big male lion that's walking towards us. Now, my name is Tristan, and on camera today, I've got Ferg. And as Byron mentioned, the king of the jungle is walking straight towards us. So it is a very, very warm welcome to all the schools that are joining us, as well as the fact that I hope you're going to enjoy what we're about to show you, because it is absolutely beautiful. But our male is slowly coming down to water, and he looks like he's going to have a drink. You can see that he's approaching. Approaching. There we go, there's the water and the sunset, and there comes our male lion. Look at how big he is. He is massive, and you can see his big dark mane, and it's interesting because I didn't think he would be walking at this time. It's a little bit early for the lion to start walking because he knows that normally they that dark time and the night is the best time to walk around because he can go without being seen. So I'm surprised that he's up just yet, but I'm super thankful that he is because it means that we can show all of you. And remember, if you have any questions about our lion, you can ask your teachers and to send through the questions that you do have, and we'll try and answer as many as we can for you. Now, I'm going to go try and catch up with our male lion because he's striding towards where we are and I want to see if we can't get a certain picture that I'm hoping we will be able to get for you and what I want to do is I'm going to go just in front here there's going to be a little dip and we're going to go down the dip and then the male hopefully is going to walk at the same height as us and you're going to be able to see just how big he is by when he's at eye level it really is going to be so cool so we just got to get down here quickly And this is exciting because we've been trying to find this male lion all afternoon and we've really been struggling. We were driving round and round and round and we couldn't find him. But now all of a sudden he's come out of the bushes and hopefully he's going to come just straight over the front. And there he's going. So he should come right here and he'll come past us on the left hand side. Now this male lion is part of a coalition of four. Now the word coalition, it means a group of males together. So it's him and his siblings or other males that were born into the same pride as him that walk around together and they are the dominant males in this area they look after this whole section and make sure that they keep this area safe for their females and make sure that there's no other males that come here now he's going to walk out there he comes look at him isn't he beautiful and you can see he's got a bit of a cut under his eye because the wild lions here they have to fight to defend their territory and there he goes and it's not every day that you're going to get an eye-level view of a big male lion as he walks along. Isn't that wonderful? Look at the size of him. He is huge. So if you want to know how big he is, he's probably, I would say, he weighs close to about 500 pounds. And he is the size of, well, I suppose, what would be a good thing to reference for maybe a a large cow in terms of his weight <laughs> that's probably about the best thing I was trying to think of something that would be in the North America that we could reference in terms of size but there really isn't very much that is the same size as a lion out that way so hopefully we'll be able to catch up with him and he's not going to go into too much of a thicket because the area that we're in is a very dense thicket to our south and it's going to be very difficult to be able to see him now remember, you can ask any questions that if you do have. Just remember to send to your teacher and she'll tell me and I can answer the questions for you. So if you want to know about our line or if you're excited to see our line, then remember you can let us know. You can even tell me what it makes you feel to be able to see a lion in the wild of Africa live. It's really very cool that we can sit here and we are all the way on the other side of the world when the sun is setting, when you're just going to school. and you can see a male lion walking in South Africa. Is that not cool? Now, our lion was a bit unsure of which way he wanted to go, so now he's going around the cars. So we're going to try and see if we can't just keep up with him as he goes round. Now he's going to come back to the road eventually. He just what he's doing is he going around the cars because he wasn't too sure about walking in between all of them. So now he wants to just go around and he'll pop out back on the road in front of us. Hello everyone. So we're just saying hello to all the other guests. Now these people have come from all over the world and have come to see this beautiful male lion and to see what he is and, and to get a nice up close experience with him. And so it's always good just to be polite and to say hello to everyone as you do. But how cool is this? 
This is very cool. Oh, bless you. Had a bit of a sneeze. It is winter time for us, which means that it is dry and dusty and that means that sometimes our male lion gets a bit of dust in his nose and then he has to sneeze a little bit and get rid of all of that dust so it is sometimes you'll see them that they do this I wonder if he's going to just keep on going I don't think he's going to be hunting because I saw him walking past some antelope earlier that are like your deer they called Nyala and the Nyala went running and our male lion didn't even look at him he just carried on walking and was not interested in hunting at all it looks like what he's doing is doing a territorial patrol now a territory is an area where our lions will try and check and make sure they use their urine or their wee to be able to mark a territory so that other males don't come in and so what he's doing is he's going to go up to the trees and he's going to lift his tail and he's going to spray his wee on the tree itself so as to tell other male lions this is my territory you must stay away don't come near I don't want to see you in this area let alone even smell you So Nathan, finally we've got a question and you want to know where we are. Well Nathan, thank you for being brave enough to ask. We are in the northeastern corner of South Africa. South Africa, oh excuse me Nathan, I just, <coughs> just swallowed a fly. So that's not good. <coughs> These things happen sometimes as you're driving along, a fly just went down my throat, oopsie. But the we are in the northeastern corner of South Africa, right on the southern tip of the continent of Africa. So it is really a very pretty place. And we have lots of wildlife in this northeastern corner. And we're in one of the biggest game reserves in the world. And this game reserve is called the Greater Kruger National Park. And it is massive. It is about 8 million acres, which means these animals can move around in that bigger space. It's huge, huge, huge. And so that's why we have lots of big animals like the elephants and the lions and all of these others that roam around in this area but let's try catch up with our lion because he's leaving me behind because I was choking on the fly <coughs> oopsie I did catch the fly with my tongue I was like a chameleon Ferg except that I didn't really want to it wasn't very tasty and most of the flies out here are landing on all kinds of dung so they land on the on the poo for lots of these animals and you don't want to eat flies here yeah? so not really that happy that I swallowed it but well it's extra protein and so it's not going to kill me and I'll be all right hello everyone so we're just greeting everyone as we go by it's good manners to say hello to people did I wave like the Queen of England? Well, thank you, Ferg. I try my best. Now, I wonder... There we go. There's our little majesty wave. Good friends and one of the guys that works with us, he was able to find him on foot. So sometimes what we'll do is to try and find these animals is we'll try and find where their footprint goes. And then what we do is we then follow the footprints into the bush until we find the animal. And so Herbie, who works with us, he found this lion on foot and then the lion started to walk out into the open. So we were very, very cool. Right, now I'm going to put some lights on because, well, it's getting dark and we want to see our lion so we're going to put some lights on we're also going to play hopscotch now because we've got lots of vehicles with us and they all want to see the lion and so what we have to do is give everyone a chance so we just leapfrog each other as we go forward so every now and then you'll see I'm going to move out the way and let somebody else come past ah Cesar Chavez School, you want to know why the lion is called the king of the jungle? Well, the reason he's called the king of the jungle is because he's the fiercest and biggest of the predators here. So he eats all of the other animals really and so he's really on top of the food chain. The actual biggest animal that we have out here is the elephant, it's not the lions. And so basically this guy is just on top. Oh wait, listen. <laughs>
Isn't that cool? So that's our male lion telling everybody this is my territory. So he's roaring to tell them all and also to contact his coalition members. So he's trying to tell everybody that uh, where are you my brothers, where can I find you, as well as to tell other males that he is the dominant male here and must everybody must stay away. But isn't that sound the coolest thing? It's the one of the loudest sounds that we get here in Africa. And when he roars at you like that, it makes your bones shiver. So that is so special to see that we're very, very lucky. And I was hoping he was going to roar for all of you because it's very exciting when he does. Now, I was just telling the others to come past us so that they can go and catch up with the line. And we'll fall to the back of the line so that we can then hop frog and get into the front again. So for a little bit of time, we're going to have to drive behind the others. But that was very cool. Our lion was a absolute rock star and he roared for all of you. I'm so happy. It's a, such a cool thing to see. You guys are being spoiled today by this lion and to hear him roar is the best sound in Africa. If you ask anybody that lives here and has spent time in the bush, they'll all tell you that this is the best sound that you can hear. Now, while we carry on and try and see if we can't get back to the front, let's go back to Byron and see if he's had any luck.